Ready? Mm -hmm. Hello, Hello Stutza family from America. So now I'm supposed to be opening the box. It's the Nespresso Virtual Line with a milk frother. In color, rote. Milk frother, Nespresso. Box of uh, coffee. Coffee pots. The new Nespresso Virtual Line coffee maker. Uh, we are now about to read the instructions. So we've run it through the cleansing cycle, and now we're going to demonstrate uh, making a cup of, of the coffee, not the espresso, first. I've used distilled water and filled up the tank on the left with water, and the empty pods will end up automatically in the tank on the right. The Initial order comes with a selection of the various coffees and espressos that they offer. The first row is espressos going from strongest to decaf, and the coffees going from strongest to lightest with some flavored ones here. So we'll start with Audacio, which is the second strongest of the coffees. And these are aluminum and recyclable. The ball side goes down. Barcode. With the barcode gets, you can see there's a, a barcode around the rim. It reads the barcode to know how much how much water to use. Pierces it when you close it, and then you lock it in place. Uh, since we've already been using this to uh, clean, this is already heated, and we just press the button. Centrifuge. It uses a centrifuge, which. Um, so first it puts some water into the grounds and lets that set, and then it uh, spins the water through the coffee and pushes it out through the, the dispenser into the cup. So um, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's now spinning the coffee, and you can see that it's coming out nice and foamy. And we should be able to see that settle out in the cup. fairly quiet uh, and I can smell the aroma of fresh brewing coffee. I wish I could send that through the lens to you. It smells really, really good. And you can see the dark of the coffee down below and the richness and, and height of the foam that's on top. As a matter of fact, in the store, they recommended that you actually stir the foam into the coffee uh, when you're making the coffee. Since we also get the frother, we'll demonstrate um, frothing milk and then adding to it separately. Finishing up, you can hear the last Real high push to get the rest of the liquid out and into your cup. Clean it out. And there it goes. And it is done. So at this point, to, I unlock it, open it, and as I open it, it disposes, automatically disposes of the canister. Pod. Pod, which it then put into this bucket on this side. And we're done. A nice American size 
cup of coffee. Smells great. Would you want to stir that in? The cream is rich. I'm not a fan of stirring it in. Okay. I like I like the foam on top, and the taste is uh, excellent. It's hot. Very good. Can you turn it off between? Now I'm going to demonstrate making espresso. And for that, we'll take this and lift it up into the higher position so we'll have less splatter with our little espresso cup. Again, we open. We put the pod in, barcode down, and lock it in place. Press the button, and wait. And this should, since it's a much smaller volume, take a lot less time than making a big cup of coffee. Here it goes. I can hear the, it's spinning, the centrifuge. Spinning the coffee out, or the espresso out. And I don't, this uh, comes out really, really thick and creamy. And smells wonderful. There it goes. I can hear it speeding up the um, spinning, but it's still really, really quiet considering what it's doing. Wrapping up, and there we go. Maybe the, you can bring the cup closer and show. Light on top goes solid. I'm going to pop out the pod into the trash, and I'm done. Let me show you. how thick and creamy that is. Superb. Now I'm going to demonstrate the frother. The frother comes with two different Whisks. Whisks. Uh, use this one for a cappuccino thick creamy mix or this one for a latte mix. And when it's the one that you're not using conveniently magnets into the inside of the top of the frother lid. So I'm going to go for the uh, cappuccino type. We, it was recommended that you use a low fat milk for this and we're going to instead be using a half and half mix uh, with half cream, half milk, uh, so would expect it not to get quite as thick and creamy as the demonstration in the store. There are probably, impossible to see, but there's two um, fill levels in here, and I'm going to fill it up to the lower one. Since we don't use very much of this ourselves. And put the lid on top. If I press this for uh, a short time frame, it will do a, a steam uh, frothing. And if I press it for two seconds, it will do a cold frothing. And for today, we're, since um, we just had a front come through, we're going to go ahead and do the steam frothing. This black base on the bottom uh, is what's plugged into the wall. And then the frothing unit can be lifted on and off and you just let it go until it um, is as frothed as you would like it to be. Actually it stops automatically so I can hear it still spinning in there and the light will go out when it's finished. Even quieter than the, than the coffee maker Nespresso machine itself, you can barely hear this. And notice the light's gone out, it's finished. I can pick this up and now I have no wires when I want to go put some in my cup. And I'm going to use a spoon and add some of that thick, look how thick that is. Wait a minute. Would you like me to bring that closer?
just going to add a couple spoonfuls of that to the top of mine, and some to Mark's as well. Or you can pour it into mine. So what? Good. Very good. Guten Appetit. So, from Lutz, here are the results of our new Nespresso coffee and espresso pod maker. Pod. And frother. <laughs> mm. I like. Very good. Sehr gut. From America. America. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs>